Equitable Prosperity, M. Sawa, is the overview, it's a budget of 28.7 million, duration of seven years, and the focus will be the sectors of agriculture, agribusiness, construction, and it trades, it, the extractives in the Lapset and Northern Corridors. And uh, the particular uh, purpose is to improve company or business performance. Performance of those companies in order to reach 20,000 small entrepreneurs and to reach 250 small and medium enterprises. And we have two pillars we're going to be working under. One is called strengthening businesses and the other leveraging investment. In the strengthening businesses uh, pillar, we will be improving business performance of the small entrepreneurs and small and medium enterprises through sustainability innovation grants on with working with lead firms. We'll also be working in business development support grants for small and medium enterprises. On the leveraging investment side, the focus is to increase the access to capital and improve competitiveness and profitability for small and medium enterprises. Thank you to Meda for scheduling my intervention so it takes place after the questions were asked. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for, for very many years, Meda has proven itself over and over again to be a reliable and trusted partner with a demonstrated capacity to leverage funding from Canadians for international development. More specifically, for six decades, META has designed and implemented innovative, viable, and effective market-driven economic development programs, which amongst other objectives, have improved the welfare of marginalized communities around the world. The Mandalay Osawa project represents a key component of Canada's efforts in support of sustainable economic growth in Kenya. It complements Canada's ongoing investments in educating, in education rather, and advancing democratic governance. The project will generate equitable economic growth through the development of profitable, competitive, and sustainable small and medium-sized enterprises in agriculture, constructive, uh, construction, and the extractive sectors. Importantly, and as Dr. Macharia has suggested, the project is aligned with Kenya's Vision 2030 strategy, which has identified private sector development in agriculture and extractives as key to achieving the country's overall economic growth targets. The project is also clearly in line with the Government of Canada's renewed commitment to focus our development assistance on helping the poorest and most vulnerable. The SME sector, as Dr. Macharia has said, is a key economic driver with the potential to make significant economic contributions to decreased poverty, increased employment, the diversification of products and services, and the creation of market linkages for small-scale suppliers. However, SME growth often takes place without addressing social, environmental, and governance issues, leaving marginalized groups, such as women, youth, and the rural poor, on the outside. Furthermore, the necessary capacity and resources often are not available to ensure equitable development, even with the best efforts of SMEs and their supporters. Through supporting this project, Canada, through META, has taken an important decision to shift the traditional development paradigm towards advancing sustainable change through private sector approaches. In particular, Canada is making a contribution to economic growth by supporting the development of SMEs in order that they reach the investment ready stage, ensuring that growth pre and post investment is both sustainable and inclusive. By encouraging such investment in targeted industries, namely agriculture and extractive supply chains, through innovative financing mechanisms, and by encouraging the growth of the local investment market, especially private equity, to ensure that capital flows are sufficient as the SME sector grows. For 20,000 small entrepreneurs in the targeted areas, this means increased incomes, opportunity to grow their enterprises, and reduced food insecurity. For their communities, 
The presence of profitable entrepreneurs in SME drives up local demand for goods and services, new entrepreneurship, and employment opportunities, and it reduces food insecurity. Canada is keen to see the benefits of economic development be enjoyed across the board by all Kenyan communities. In implementing this project, it will therefore be especially important to retain a focus on marginalized communities whose economic fortunes are so frequently diminished by the mere fact that they are too far from the centers of power.